So you're interested in breaking into acting. You might even be an actor and you're looking for helpful advice. Let me tell you how in this video. Let's make a right and left. Do you have what it takes to make a right and left to you? What's up, good people? I'm Thomas J. Beleza, and uh, welcome to my video. If this is your first time to my channel, and you want to learn how to succeed in entertainment, then subscribe by hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out. You might tell people you want to be an actor. Then they say, Have a plan B. It's a, it's a tough business to get into, you know? Or even the ever fun. The chances of making it I like, one in a million, man. These are all obviously very positive messages. Hashtag sarcasm. Anything we want to do in life could be seen with a negative backlash and support. I will say this much though, not understanding or knowing the business you're interested in being in does make these statements very true. Here are a few things to help you get your proverbial feet wet. And also stay to the end for a helpful tip. Background work. I know, I know. You want to act. You want to say lines. Line! Two households both alike in dignity and fair for only where we lay our scene for a mate. And, you know, people think background work is the bottom of the barrel. But even Clint Eastwood started in background working with central casting. And look it up. A majority of successfully famous actors started in background. And keep in mind, they weren't really there to get paid to make a living doing background or even get their big break by being seen on the camera. Because honestly, if you think someone's gonna see you as a waiter behind Brad Pitt, you don't understand why people come to see the movie in the first place, I'm just saying. Background work is to network. Background work is to market your brand, who you are. Background work gives you an opportunity to learn the business firsthand watching what people are doing, hearing certain terminology so you understand what get to one means, or cut, or action, or rolling, or speed. There are so many terms that you might not know and you should know before you even have an opportunity to speak lines or act in front of a camera screen or even on the stage. Learn the business you're in. And most importantly, and I say this often, and you can watch the video right here, Work within your field of interest. If you need to work a job to pay for your bills, which is known as a survival job, why work as a waiter? Why work in some job as a cashier when you could be working within your field of interest and you're getting paid for it? But more importantly, all those other things are happening. And also, get involved. Volunteer your time when, where, and however you can with friends, friends of friends, or people you see doing stuff. I will work with you for free. I, I'll do anything. You want me to, uh, I can do PA. I can just tell people, keep on walking. Keep on walking. <laughs> you need water? I can get you water. The secret to growing a career in any field, especially entertainment, be seen, be present. And again, you might not be acting per se, but you are working within your field of interest. In the beginning, it's not necessarily about performing or acting. When and where you can and when you get those opportunities, of course go for it. But focus on relationships, brand building, and just getting involved, doing anything so you could be witness to the business of your interests, the career you want. Because more importantly than anything in the world, as I said, is you're there to network, build and cultivate relationships because people want to work with friends. It's true. And friendships lead to opportunities. Hey, Bob, do you want to work with me? Uh, yeah, sure. Of course, Jim, but uh, I don't really act, you know, I'm just starting. But I like you. Okay, I'll get well, all right. Get involved to be around the entertainment industry. And remember, it is not about you in this business. It's about everybody else because other people cast you, other people direct you, other people manage you. You need people. Get involved, help others, and there's a little very helpful connect people and not for your benefit if you know someone who would benefit from someone else meeting do that connecting people builds value for everybody connect people and network 
build and cultivate relationships. Get involved, be seen, be present. Helpful tip! Practice, practice, practice. And with other people. Get together with acting, writing, director friends, all these people. Get together and work out, I don't know, a scene. Maybe even work out the process of acting with people who have experience, I don't know, acting. Because in the beginning, like any business, budgeting is important. Because instead of paying for classes in the very beginning of your career, get involved with the business and make relationships. Because these relationships that are established in the foundation growth of your first, second, and maybe even third year will help you in the long run. Because at this time, you're building and cultivating relationships while learning the skill of acting with others. But when an opportunity for an audition happens, hire a coach. When you get hired to act and it's a paying gig, hire a coach to work with you on that, that script. Think like a business. Be smart, even when you're starting out. Remember, work hard to be seen and be present. Work hard to build and cultivate relationships. Work hard to help others because it's about them, not you. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribing for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive, okay? Just be productive. Use your noggin, use your brain. And remember to look around you at the people. You want to work with them so you can grow with them and therefore rise with them. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Do you punk? Do you? Do you punk? Man, whew. I'm out of breath. I think, I think, I'm, I think I'm done. I think I'm done for today. I'm gonna go take a nap. Oh dear.